Yes. <laughs> Definitely them. Oop. Oh. Well, in any regard, let's just dive right in. <laughs> and boy, it's weird how much One Piece feels like a bicycle sometimes. Once you're a little into it, you remember pretty much everything. <laughs> to a greater or lesser extent, and minus some fine details here and there. <sighs> oh, that's right! <laughs> The debut, Take it away. The, the debut of Zoro's actual outfit that you'd associate with him with, and not the one from uh, and his lobby. lobby. And Nami as well. Actually, no. Nami's supposed to be wearing a t-shirt, not a tank top. But yeah. Close enough. <laughs> yeah. Um, it took them four games to get these characters accurate outfits. But the unfortunate thing about that is uh, a lot of things were cut out also. I hope I hope you weren't attached to characters having costumes, especially the characters in previous games that had the most. Co Fire Warriors three everywhere. Well, Fire Warriors three in the top right. Jesus, I forgot they did that. Yeah, I've only I've only played the story mode once because because ninety nine point nine. Percent repeating of the entirety of this game is just the treasure log, and we'll get into that nightmare later. Yep. But, uh. Oh boy. Oh, look, we started a game where I have most of the straw hats right here. Funny that. What's funny is this is actually a new scene, so I don't know why they put the parchment filter over it. Yeah. <sighs> if you were gonna do an Alabasta arc, maybe put in a stage of, uh. Of uh, Low Town and a stage of Drum Kingdom, and then go into the rest of it. Yeah, this is uh, all over the place. It's weird. Nice render, though. People have been waiting for four games for Vivi to be playable, and I think this might be the first game she got to model, so that's a start. I feel like she's had them all before, but. She might have had one in Wait, one. no, you do fight her at least in one game prior. I'm pretty damn sure. No, I don't think you ever fight her. Weird, okay. But, yeah. Um, very nice render for her, at least, but, yeah. Yeah. And Drum Kingdom is an afterthought. <laughs> well, I mean... Yeah. Yeah, if, if any of the Straw Hats I would forget about immediately is probably Chopper, even though... Oh, huh, that, that story for him is one of the first big gut-wrenching ones you get in One Piece. Chopper is the character that he's oh, had... Oh, God, I forgot how badly he was rendered in Power Warriors 1. Jesus. It's because they're, it's because uh, it's modeled after his po after his new world appearance, but he has uh, the pre uh, hat yeah. and shorts. Yeah, the the weakest character in probably the entire series is probably uh, New World Chopper. He's had literally nothing and become a worse character. Yeah, that's a damn shame. Babel. So, you might also be wondering, why are we defaulted to, uh, New World outfits? Would you like to share with the audience? Oh. <laughs> oh, what? Uh, no, actually... Because oh, here it actually lets you get, have the option? Okay, that's weird. Once you've completed any stage, then it lets you choose your outfit. Okay, so normally in free mode, and and also, uh, dream logs... Dream logs? Treasure log. Yeah, treasure log. You're not able to play as the pre time skip versions of these characters. No. So, the fact that we actually have access to them again is rather nice. Greta do them, they gave him the Mr. Prince outfit, which, boy, if that isn't hilarious. Yeah. Fucking snazzy. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. So, we'll get into more details about the Straw Hats later and how they've been rebalanced and all <laughs> that shit, because, um... Boy, there's a lot of stuff done. Anyway. Oh, we're starting with Mr. Prince, okay. Actually... Or, no. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll that, play I, I actually one. screwed it up. I meant to say groom, but, yeah. <laughs> Close enough. You actually, you are actually supposed to play it. Wait, no, this is the wrong stage. Never mind. Next stage is the one where you play it. Uh, do you want to take this one and play as Zoro or something? Because you do, you do fight Tashigi in this stage. <laughs> right. And ah, then me as well. I did the first stage after all. Uh, it really does not matter, but I may as well. The difference in his in his pre outfits are which swords he has on his belt. It yeah, each costume is a difference in the swords he has. Oh the yeah, time. move the camera. Oh yeah, that's right. You have that. You can zoom in and zoom out, and uh, there's a little mini game on the loading screen now. He's down on the bottom left. Oh yeah, I see him. You can. Uh, it's a game of where's Panda Man. 
Because the load times of this game are so incredibly long that, hey, hey you got something this to do This is the worst loading screen I've ever seen in a Musou... Worst loading times I've seen in a Musou game ever outside of Dynasty Warriors 9. But that's because it loads twice, and then you have to load after the cutscene to get into the stage. Yup. And this is on Pro, mind you. So this is with, uh, higher clock speeds and all that crap. Pay attention to this scene, Luffy's gonna do something in it, and I think that, uh, his arms are broken. It's ironic considering, uh, his power, his abilities, but yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, we've also just defaulted hard to the, the calling the Marines Navy in this game, unfortunately. We're at that point now. <sighs> yeah. Mm. Eh. Yeah. Oh yeah, so, after 3,000 years, the dub is finally back with Punk Hazard, and there are a couple of times where they just call them Marines. Marine Unit G5. This Marine base. But they st all, but they also intermittently call them Navy. I'm like, fucking pick one, jackass. <laughs> that stuttered, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, the reason- the dub coming back is not the reason we're doing this game. That just happens to be a nice coincidence. That's all the reason I need. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't need a reason, but if I- but if I had to have one, God pre uh, old world smoker looks weird. Yeah. I'm so used to his slick back hair, seeing it spike ease. It makes it look like he just got out of bed. Yep. <clears throat> oh, so we're actually calling it Rogue Town now and not Log Town anymore? Ah. Uh, I actually, honestly, I like that better. Rogue Town for the town where the King of the Pirates was executed. It does absolutely make sense. I think that was what four kids called it. I think Log Town also kind of works because, you know, log posts and everything. It makes it sound like the start of a journey or something, but it's kind of irrelevant. It works either or. Yeah. I, I prefer Rogue. <laughs> I'll, I'll admit, I still have not touched the Shigi once in this fucking game at all. I've had the reason to. She has her ups and downs. I think she might actually be better. I, I don't mind that because she was already kind of iffy to use in 3 as it was. And he's here. She's a tr uh, She was a gimmick character. Yeah. If you know how to work the gimmick and timing and distance, she could be an absolute monster. Ugh. I hate this. this it's is, so dumb. This is not how elements work, sir. Hey, look at that tattoo on his arm. This, uh, his name is Ace, but it's misspelled. There's an S in there and it's crossed out. Isn't that funny? Hey, intriguing. That's not, that wasn't actually meant to be a precursor. That was an anime mistake. Oh, wait, really? Yeah, the first time he appeared, his tattoo set just said A-S-E. And then... And then the anime corrected it one of the next episodes by having it A S crossed out C E, and then Oda just rolled with it. Why not? So in the manga, the original tattoo was just A C E. Let's see. Touchpad is taunt. Nope. Uh, down. Down. Right. Okay. So, Emil, you're gonna notice something weird. Hey, why is Lion Song at the end of my default combo? <laughs> yeah, uh, to, again, to go along with the fact that everything's been revamped severely for this game. Do you want to show the combo list? May as well, actually. Uh, should be right? Under combo combo attack list. list. Hey, at least it's visible. Hey, yeah, how come, unlike in the previous games, there are no triangle strings? In the previous game, you had triangle, 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 square, triangle, triangle... Square, square, triangle, etc. How come there are no triangle strings, and when you want to do triangle now, it's just a single strong attack, and that's it, and it's completely useless most of the time? Weird! If it's not a setup attack, it, uh, it's especially weird for characters like Law, who are both better and worse at the same time, because they have no manual access to room anymore. Nope. <sighs> this game is weird sometimes. I really have no idea what to make of it. I'm not sure why exactly uh, Omega Force took a look at this game. At this game's like, yeah, per uh, near perfect game we had with Brian. Let's completely change it for some reason. Um, I, I can only guess for accessibility. Maybe not like you need accessibility for a game like this already. Yeah. My immediate guess is they saw the stagnation with how every game after it for the next at least three years were basically all based off of it. And it's like, well, 
Those games that are based off of that one aren't selling anymore, but this series, but this sub-series specifically, still does very well. So let's come back to this sub-series, but the, let's also revitalize the gameplay, so that way it's new and fresh. Oh, and if that ends up working out well, then hey, maybe we can implement this system in the next into the next five or six games. And then milk that for what it's worth and have the sales start going down and then repeat the cycle all over again. <sighs> That's annoying. Three weeks ago, Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires just got announced and they've and the, the only thing they've really said about it at all so far is that it's not going to be open world. And I don't know. That could be for better. It could be for worse. Someone could just use Supernova on the wall. <laughs> The open world was terrible in 9, but if you rein that back, cut the map down to maybe a third of its size for an Empires type game specifically, that could actually have some decent potential. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna start going over some detailed changes from uh Pirate Warriors 3 to 4, as well as basic gameplay stuff. So essentially you can still dash cancel, but dash canceling costs meter now. So <laughs> you can't abuse it to hell and back, which I guess I understand, but like it's not like something you need to nerf anyway. So eh. no, we well, yeah, got creative choice. Um, at any point during your streams, you can do. You have you, a run button. You can tap X and do a jump cancel. Luckily, it does not consume uh, stamina, but any subsequent uh, dash cancels are going to result in you know this eating up the stamina as it is. Luckily, stamina is super easy to fucking use, just like an. Uh, Weird jump here, but uh, jump force where jump force if you have a, if you start regenerating, regenerating meter whatsoever, you you immediately have access to your substitution system. That's dumb. I'm sorry to derail you, but for a quick moment, can you jump to the controls screen? We can do that. Uh, system check controls. There, where is it? Rescue. De there's a there is a dedicated run button on L2. Except that's not run in the traditional sense. That just puts you into your into your medium speed, not your actual running speed or your dash speed. So it's an in between that doesn't really accomplish anything. Not real. Well, I mean, it it does immediately put you in, in a decent run versus where usually in this game you have to wait a few seconds before you can actually start running. Running. Someone's dying. Who the hell is that? Who's up? Oh, that reminds me. You know how in every oh, other game. If you just walk into that radius, they heal immediately. Yeah, I, I noticed there's a rescue button. I've actually never noticed that. Oh, I didn't even press it in the my they got rescued. There's a dedicated button to do that now, but if you just walk into a character's healing radius, it'll heal them automatically anyway. What I'm getting at is that it felt like they realized that they didn't have uh, every button mapped to, uh, to a feature. Meanwhile, the touchpad then, does literally nothing. But then it ne it's always been like that in all the previous games. L2 or R2, one of the two of them was completely unmapped in all of the previous games, so it's like it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. But I'm sure they thought it was somehow lacking to not have every button doing something, even if it's something that still happens automatically anyway. Eh. Got me, got me on that one. I mean, I guess it's inoffensive, but it's just pointless and stupid. It really is. So, it's funny though, because where in, uh, I'm certain what in Omega Force's attempts to nerf the fuck out of the really immediately abusable dash canceling. Oh, uh, you in, need to go back into the town. Oh, uh, okay. In uh, prior games, the. Some of your guys aren't moving. The abusable dash canceling. Funny enough, I think jumping might actually be more broken. Yes. And that might sound really stupid, like, how can it possibly be worse if they made specifically the nerf dash canceling from before? Well. No enemies in this game really have a dedicated anti-air move, <laughs> so if you're above them, uh, they can't really hit you, as well as the fact that, well, actually, let me, let me go to a local enemy and try something. As you can see, I'm like 12 miles above him, and I still make contact. Uh, in fact, if I get a crowd of enemies, look at this. I'm hitting dudes literally like 12 miles above me. The hitboxes are kind of fucked. Like, yep. I, I get it, because... Koei game, you have to be able to juggle a bunch of enemies, like, otherwise you're just, do, like, attacking one person at a time and it doesn't make sense. The thing about that, though, is that, uh, hitboxes are kind of very fucked in this game. Yep. More than ever before. Oh, another fun thing, though. So, with the removal of a lot of moves being now, <laughs> uh, equipable musos, which is a weird, on the one hand, they are on timers, so that means you can't just repeatedly abuse them, but you can still equip abilities to abuse them anyway. I don't get it. Here's the thing. A lot of these non-cinematic quote-unquote moves, though, is you can dash cancel. 
Yeah. And, um, you can also be hit out of. Here's the thing, if you're like me, you're, you're gonna be able to use a lot of your non instant Mac moves in combos, <laughs> and that just kind of murders people. Yep. It's like, do you want to equip a bunch of level uh, cinematic Musos and abuse max damage power and always have them recharging while you're, you have a strong character? Or do you want to have a combo-oriented character who has a bunch of really strong level 1s you can dash cancel? Actually, you know what? Hang on. Let me... Look at that. I dash cancel before he's even, he even came out. <laughs> no, low commitment, high high reward if you, it goes through and you can dash cancel the combo off of. It's... It's fun. It's Watch fun. the camera around some of these rocks. The screen starts dithering. You're probably right, actually. Especially around the mountain pass, if you move your camera in and out of the wall, it starts dithering a little. It might be a mirage sun type effect, but it's weird. Oh, yeah, I saw it. I saw it. Hang on. Let me get back over here. I could probably replicate easily. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I saw it. It's not heavy dithering. It's not a PSP screen, but damn. PS1 game. Uh, yeah, no, nah, it's, it's just kind of weird. Eh, eh. Oh, I don't have any. <laughs> Crap. So, um, I know we're playing your safe file, and you still getting characters up to uh, high, high uh, stats, but I'm gonna equip some of my dumb bullshit setups for characters so you can see just how broken you can make them. Alright. I have some, uh, I, I guess, dummy thick setups for characters that's kinda stupid. Let me see if this works. I also don't like that move at all. It doesn't really do anything. It's no. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, fight Toshigi first, I think Killing Smoker ends the stage. It uh, might, I'm not sure if they still do that. You might be right, let's... I mean, high level... By the way, what difficulty round anyway? Uh, the third one, third out of four, I think. Okay. I don't... Actually, I don't even remember if this game has a fourth difficulty. I, I honestly don't remember. That might be worth looking into after this. I'm not insinuating that we play this entire game on Impossible, because... Oh god, okay. Um... Pyro Warriors 2 and 3, I was able to play through hard mode for my first playthrough. This yep. game is the only time I've ever had to lower the difficulty for a Warriors game in a long time. Yes, and it actually starts as early as this stage, your first time through. Or it could start as early as this stage, fighting the bosses. Yeah. Especially when you're unused to the new uh, to the new gameplay mechanics. The first time I was streaming this game, it took me forever to beat the stage because I had no idea what the hell was happening. Especially when your first real boss is a Logia. Yeah, with Lo uh, with Logia intangibility. Logias in this game are kind. I don't remember exactly how they operate uh, in prior games, but in three, the in three they gave them uh, Logia intangibility. However, if you were in the awakening mode, it tr uh, it treated all characters like they were using armament hockey. Which it might as well be. So you could hit. Uh, so you could hit through their intangibility. In this game, they do away with that entirely because you're not required to even have. An awakening or full force burst, as they're called in this game, equipped. Yeah. So if a character is a Logia and they transform, they have Lo uh, they have Logia intangibility all the time. <laughs> so that was definitely a downgrade going into this new system. That was a mistake. I do like these notes that his that Dwarf Swords is making. Though it's really nice. <laughs> Come on. But yeah, as you can see, um, I'm kind of just having a Dragon Ball battle with him right now, just flying through the air and just amusing shit with dash cancels. And then doing nothing to him. Not of us are really doing anything to each other because he's not hitting me or doing damage, and I'm not hit really hitting him consistently. Now nah, you're gone. There we go. Lol. I don't know what quality is. It fucking got me. <laughs> uh, we'll talk about the story eventually, but we've been through Alabasta, what, twice already? Twice. Yeah, there's not a whole lot to say. It was definitely the launching point for a lot of what was to come in One Piece with the Warlord system. <laughs> that pulled Luffy to 300,000. 30,000? No, it was well over 30,000. 100,000? Luffy's bounty, existing bounty. This is the uh, the one. The one where his arms are broken. Mm. Where, they're, where they're just completely bent backwards. Oh god, you're right. And that looks awful. Ew. Uh, his starting bounty after beating... Uh, it was all uh, along to shop to 30,000, right? After beating uh, Buggy, Kuro, Krieg, and Arlong, it shot up. To, it started at 30 million, and then he beat up uh, just Crocodile, and then it shot up to 100 million. That's what it was. I realized I was saying thousand, and I said like, wait, what? No. Yeah, it's like <laughs> uh, that's funny. A little higher than that. Yeah, I, I'm starting to do that being measured in um, yen. Yen, yeah. Yeah, that's the strike. <laughs> Hi. Hello. 
His model was floating, it wasn't touching the floor. <laughs> this game has a wacky ass shadow effect. By the way, this is yeah. my first real time actually playing this game in full 60 because base PS4, <laughs> which I have, because uh, Bob isn't too interested in getting a performance enhancement to his PS4 yet. Might have to do it at some point though. It's called uh, a PS5. Yeah. Um, the also game's because you were streaming. Entire, the game's also almost entirely 30. So I'm not used to it being consistently 60 right now. God, the PS4 version of 3, even base PS4 version of 3 was a godsend on the PS3. Yeah. It, it's amazing that PS3 ran so well on the PS3 as it was. But then 4 made it pretty and run well. Yep. That's what happens when you develop a game for PS3, but it just happened to upgrade its specs for the PS4. <laughs> To be honest, I'm all I'm a little up and I'm I think I think most of these are new models. I'm not sure how many of them are an actual improvement. Yeah. Oh god, or noticeably. That reminds me of something actually. This hmm. How's it feel playing the very first Pirate Warriors game that's actually dedicated for the PS4? <laughs> it only took so long to get it. There's an idea. Have we played any Warriors games that were made specifically for the PS4 or current gen of hardware? Oh god. Because Fire Emblem Warriors doesn't count because Fire uh, because the Nintendo Switch is a portable PlayStation 3. You're more or less right. And also the fact that higher It turns out that Berserk and Band of Hawk also has a Vita port. I did that not also, know that. That also exists on PS3 and Vita. In, in Japan. Yep. Yeah. They uh, uh it's uh they Consoles last forever in Japan. They have uh, they have they some, truly do. They have some abandonment issues. <laughs> Fuck right. 